Another plank, quote, We advocate the extension of federal credit to the states to provide unemployment relief where the diminishing resources of the state make it impossible for them to provide for their own needs. End of quote. That was pretty plain. That was a recognition in the National Convention of the Rights of the States. But now, how is it interpreted? The federal government took over most of the relief programs, some of them useful and most of them useless. They started out to prime the pump for industry in order to absorb the ranks of the unemployed, and at the end of three years, their employment affirmative policy is absolutely nothing better than the negative policy of the administration that preceded it. Another plank, quote, we favor unemployment and old age insurance under state laws, end of quote. Now let me make myself perfectly clear so that no demagogue or no crackpot in the next week or so will be able to say anything about my attitude on this kind of legislation. I'm in favor of it, and I take my hat off to no man in the United States on the question of legislation beneficial to the poor, the weak, the sick, or the afflicted, or women and children. Because why? I started out a quarter of a century ago when I had very few followers in my state, and during that period I advocated, fought for, introduced as a legislator, and finally as governor for eight long years, signed more progressive legislation in the interests of the men, women, and children than any man in the state of New York.